Hello everybody, my name is Ratnos, and today we are going to take a look at the item level rewards that you're going to be able to get in Shadowlands from Mythic Dungeons and Raids. Not going to look at PvP in this video, uh, but we're going to talk about both Dungeons and Raids because there have been some changes to the item level rules relative to some previous seasons, and some things that have been taken forward from this most recent patch, uh, Nylotha, in 8.3. So, uh, let's get started by talking about what Mythic Plus item levels are going to be. Um, I guess actually the better place to look first, because I think the, be the best way to think about item levels is to have an anchor point. And for me, that anchor point is always like heroic item level and mythic item level. Uh, so let's look at those first, cause, and then we'll talk about mythic plus second. So the raid item levels, uh, heroic raid base item level is 213, mythic is 226, and normal is 200 from Castle Nathria. Um, now, first of all, you might be like, hang on a second, those aren't all multiples of five, and yeah, they, they've changed to 13 item level difference between tiers, or between difficulty levels, rather than the uh, the 15 that we were used to in these past couple expansions. It means we're going to have to do a little bit more mathematics, uh, because not, not everything's a nice multiple of five, but it does mean that item levels aren't going to get to quite as big numbers within one expansion, right? This This squishes a little bit the range of item levels that we're going to travel between from Castle Nathria to the last raid of the expansion. Um, all in all, not a big deal, but the main the main thing to remember is 200 for normal, 213 for heroic, 226 for mythic are the, the item level amounts. And we are bringing back the bonus amount of item levels that we got in Nihilotha from the last two bosses. In Castle Nathria, the last two bosses are also going to drop higher item level loot. Uh, seven item levels higher, which is about half a tier, right? There's slightly more than half of a difficulty jump uh, going for, to the last two bosses. Now, let us let me start by talking about my opinions on that paradigm, and then we'll talk about the Mythic Plus rewards as well. Uh, I think that it is good when the last two bosses are more rewarding than the first eight. Uh, there are often huge difficulty jumps. Many players can kill the first three bosses on most mythic raids, and very few players relatively can kill the last two, or at least in a timely fashion. Many players can clear some heroic bosses, but often that last heroic boss is actually a pretty big brick wall, uh, and even the last two can be pretty hard for a lot of players. So I think that it is nice that there's a corresponding reward increase for the difficulty increase of those last two bosses. I think that idea is nice, and I don't actually have a problem with the for instance, the Mythic 233 reward being uniquely high item level. Those last two bosses on Mythic are the only way to get above 226, is my understanding. 226 is the cap for M plus and PvP rewards, and then you can get above that from the last two bosses on Mythic. I also don't have a problem with that. One problem that I do have with this paradigm is that it creates a little bit of a, a weird situation where if your best in slot itemized pieces, if you know a powerful item for you comes from those last two bosses, versus those first eight. That's a pretty big power spike for your spec relative to the other specs if you're interested in doing like high level Mythic Plus. It's not really a problem for progression rating because by the time you have these items, progression rating is done, so it doesn't matter anymore. Uh, but it is a problem if you're trying to push like the world first keys. And if you were a spec in Nylotha, for instance, where your best in slot items came from, you know, Vexiona, Shadhar, Xanesh, you were uh, 10 item levels behind somebody who was able to, like a hunter who got both be two best in slot Azurite pieces, a best in slot belt, and then even there was a, a good weapon for them for uh, the end game Mythic Plus of the patch from Nazoth. So they were walking around with a bunch of 485 stuff, 490 stuff, when if your best in slot Azurite came from Vexiona, you were cut by 10 item levels, even if you could do the same bosses. So that is one minor nitpick I have with the system, is that it can just sometimes arbitrarily make certain specs not scale as well into the end game of the patch, if that end game for you is high level Mythic Plus pushing. But other than that, I don't, I don't actually have a problem with the, the core design idea of the last two bosses of Raid being harder and therefore rewarding better items. Um, to solve my, my issue, I think that a, a good way would be to have the last two bosses just drop 226 items and then also drop tokens that could upgrade any raid item from 226 to 233. Um, but I, I really, this, this, this issue is not a big deal unless they're turned to turn out to be not just items that are worthwhile because they're high item level, but also items that are overtuned from the last two bosses, uh, because then those will disproportionately help out the specs that get to use them versus the specs that don't have a similarly overtuned high item level piece. 
Uh, kind of like the Nazoth tank trinket, I guess, sort, sort of fit into that, but all the tanks could use that, so it wasn't a problem. But you could imagine if the Nazoth tank trinket was only usable by half the tank specs, which if it were a DPS trinket, for instance, that would be the case, uh, then we'd be in a slightly different situation that would be, I think, just a little bit unfortunate. Really only a big deal for people who... It's, it's really not an issue for progression rating itself, though. This is It's a problem created by raid itemization that doesn't affect raids because by the time you're getting it, progression is done. All right, so that's the deal with the, the raid item levels. Let's talk about Mythic Plus item level rewards. Um, so here we have the list of rewards. Much like in BFA, they have this technology where the until Mythic Week happens, until the Mythic Raid comes out, you actually have a cap on your Mythic Plus reward. So that cap for the first week of Mythic Plus is going to be 194 from a Mythic 4 or 5. Uh, you know, it's, it's Mythic 5, item, but you can actually just do a Mythic 4 and also get a 194. So um, there's no need to do higher than Mythic 5s during Heroic Week for loot. But... You are going to want to do a 14, if you can, for a weekly Great Vault at Mythic level. The big news from this chart that's that's different from previous times, so the Great Vault, for instance, this is the same as it's been in in BFA, right? You, you know, you need to do a 14 or a 15. I guess in BFA it was only a 15, uh, but in Shadowlands it can be a 14 to get your 226 out of your weekly vault. That's going to be still good. That's still Mythic level. Um, the dungeon itself is now rewarding 210 for a 15, uh, and that is three item levels less than Heroic, right? So unlike in previous seasons, instead of getting Heroic item level or slightly better than Heroic item level from the end of Dungeon, you're going to be getting worse than the Heroic item level and dramatically worse than the last two on Heroic. Uh, in Nihilotha, for instance, you were getting better than Heroic item level, but still worse than the last two. Now you're just worse on both sides. Um, the implications from this are not ground-shattering, they don't really change too much for too many players. Uh, if you are somebody who grinds a lot of Mythic Plus, you're prime. Like if you're somebody who's primarily a Mythic Plus player, it does mean that in the in the first say two months of the patch, you are going to be slightly lower power relative to a raider than you would have been in previous seasons. But that's pretty quickly going to get overtaken by the fact that you're getting great vault items, which are Mythic, so that will get you geared to the same level you would have in BFA. Plus the benefit of you're choosing from three. Mythic Plus rewards, assuming you're doing 10 dungeons each week uh, instead of one. So instead of, you know, instead of getting like belt, belt, bracers, bracers, belt, there's just, there's that actually can't happen anymore, right? You're guaranteed to get three different slots from your three first different weeks. And then you're highly likely to keep seeing stuff that you don't already have a Mythic piece in if you're only doing M Plus. So you'll actually be able to gear up much quicker with these great vault items, assuming that you do your three dungeons or your three weekly vault openings relative to somebody in BFA. Again, for those who don't know, the Great Vault uh, is this its this thing where you can get one reward from the whole Great Vault and you get to see a different option for each square that you unlock. And for Mythic Plus, that's one, four, or ten dungeons. Um, and so if you're a Mythic Plus only player, instead of getting one reward from one choice, like you do in BFA and Legion, you're now going to be getting one reward from three choices. So this is still a buff for a Mythic Plus only player. Uh, it just, it's, it's, at the very short term, you're going to be slightly weaker. But again, it's weaker relative to what, right? It's not, it's not really a big deal in, uh, in those terms because you're, you're going to be fine in the long haul compared to, say, a Mythic Raider. The only difference is, like in the current tier, you're not going to have access to those last two, those exclusive 233s that'll be a lot harder to get your hands on than a 226 would be. If you are somebody who both Mythic Pluses and Raids, you should expect to not be wearing very many Mythic 15 base items uh, because you'll be able to get... The Heroic items will replace them by three item levels. However, three item levels is probably not enough to beat a better stat combination for many specs. So you will still wear your Mythic 15 items that are the better stats. And also you just might not drop them, right? You can farm as much Mythic 15 as you want and get a set of 210s. And then you will still be able to get upgrades from Heroic Raid on most of your slots, which I think that's pretty good. The downside of this system, relative to the current system, is that you are not going to be able to trade those items. You know how I was talking about how uh, you know how I was talking about how you'd find these items in Heroic that wouldn't be an upgrade for you because they were worse stat combos? Well, you still can't trade those items because they are technically higher item level, right? They're 213. Uh, so if you are used to being able to trade gear on the first week of Heroic to your friends who need it, that's no longer going to be an option for you if you did Mythic Plus 
Uh, like if you if you do Mythic Plus on Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday of Heroic Week, and then you know your guild raids Friday, Saturday, you're not gonna be able to help trade gear, uh, even though you did a bunch of Mythic Plus on Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, because your 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 item level is still lower there. So uh, that is a drawback for most players. People are speculating that this is a targeted attack on the practice of split rating. So for those who don't know, split rating is what World First guilds do, and it's where you get every person in the guild has like one main. And then they have like six alts or whatever. The, the actual amount varies depending on the, the tier. And the goal is you gear your alts up so that they can trade gear. And then you do heroic runs, right? You go into heroic on heroic week when there's nothing. You can't go into mythic anyways. You can't do world first progression there. And your whole goal during heroic week is to just run as many heroics as you can. And in each heroic raid, you're going to have like two plate wearing mains and 16 plate wearing alts and all of those plate wearing alts are going to trade the gear that they can trade to the mains and then when you get to mythic week you have mains that effectively have like five or six weeks of heroic gear pumped into them and they're just fully kitted out and there's no more upgrades they need from heroic um that practice is one that pretty much everybody would like to put an end to blizzard included uh the world first guilds included but there's not really a way to do it and this doesn't accomplish it either because so, so this means that you can't farm Mythic 15s during Heroic Week to be able to trade Heroic gear during Heroic Week. But you can still probably get it from Professions, right? Professions will probably still scale up to Heroic gear. We've seen in tiers like Battle of the Czar lore, uh, guilds would just have their alts cycle between five Professions, level up the Profession, craft the item, equip it so that they could then trade in that slot, and then unlearn the Profession and learn the next one. Even if you can't do that, guilds will still run split runs because uh, the way that they'll get around that is that if there's 10 bosses, right, and one of the, two different bosses drop boots, they will go do one of the bosses, and then all the alts that drop boots from that boss will be able to trade boots from the other boss. And so there's still a benefit from split running. And the crucial thing is there's no drawback to it. The opportunity cost is so low because there's nothing better that you can do with your time during Heroic Week. So even if you nerf the power level of, of split running, as long as it's better than zero, guilds will still do it because the alternative is zero, right? There's not anything better they can be doing with their time. So uh, the split running practice will continue. That this may, it's, it may seem like it's targeted to that, but I actually don't think that it even was. I think that it's just not related, really. Um, and it will just ma it will make... My, my guess for this change is it will mostly just be slightly annoying for regular players who... You know, get get this 213 verse mastery item and they've got their crit haste best in slot item and they're like, all right, I can't trade this to my friend. <laughs> um, but it's, it's not going to affect what any of the top guilds do, in my, in my opinion here. All right, uh, so that's item level rewards from Mythic Plus and Raid. The, I guess the, the thing that I've been seeing that I'm kind of disappointed by is, is how many people talking about how there's like no point to do Mythic Plus because of a three item level drop from the end of dungeon reward. First of all, how many people were actually like hard spamming Mythic Plus for gear? Like, even if you did that a little bit, it was only a, a heroic week practice, right? And I don't know. If you enjoy doing that, it's still a good thing to be doing during heroic week, right? It's still a power level increase for, uh, like, <laughs> well, I guess you're not even getting this gear during heroic week, right? During heroic week, you're only getting this gear. But, like, you're still, you know, if spamming Mythic Plus for gear, I guess, on the first week of Mythic, is something that you wanted to do, it'll still be potential, like, it'll still be valuable. The fact that it's three item levels less means that, yeah, there are heroic pieces that are better, but they're still only slightly better. Um, and if you're somebody who does Mythic Plus for fun, also not a big deal, right? If you're somebody who does Mythic Plus for fun, you will be way more geared after a month of this better Great Vault system than you would have been in BFA. And at the end of Dungeon Rewards, with that, with, you know, with Titan Forging and Warforging gone, you, there's, it really doesn't matter, right? Back in BFA with Titan Forging and Warforging, you could theoretically spam dungeons and get, you know, Mythic Gear eventually by doing 300 dungeons and, and fishing some Titan Forges out of those. But with this, it seems like there's not really... Like, end dungeon rewards are not going to be a part of a super end game character's gear, much like they haven't been in the past, and I don't think that's necessarily bad. I think that these items are stepping stone items, and if you buff their item level to the point where they are permanent items for, you know, end game characters, uh, I think that creates an incentive for people to do Mythic Plus who don't find it fun. And that is not, I think, the place that we want to be in. I believe that the Great Vault rewarding you for doing 10 dungeons a week with, two, you know, a, an extra shot at a, a different 226 is way better 
than buffing this reward, for instance. I think that this is actually a really good system. So uh, I'm happy with both of these item level changes. Again, my, my nitpick is about specific items from the last two bosses potentially impacting relative spec balance. Um, but other than that, I think this is all good news for most players in most circumstances. Uh, again, depending on how exactly you play the game, you could construe a situation where this would be a nerf for your playstyle. But uh, at worst, it's three item levels. So I don't know. It's, it's not a big deal. I, I, I don't know. I, like this take here, what exactly will the point of end of the dungeon loot be? I mean, the gear will be replaced relatively quickly. I, I, just, I, don't, I don't think that's any different. I don't think that this is a... I don't think this is new. I think this is the same as it's always been, basically. And uh, this is a, a good new... Like, this This is a worthy replacement for all the potential value of, like, 465 and a dungeon rewards. Because 465 and a dungeon rewards were pretty strong. Um, and, they, you know, that was higher than Heroic Raid. But I actually, I, I, prefer, I prefer this one. I prefer Shadowlands itemization to BFA. Let me know what you think, though. It is, of course, reasonable to disagree with me, uh, and just do so nicely in the comments below. Thanks, everybody, for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.